I know, I know, I know I told you all that I wasn't gonna do another video about Atlanta, but I, I had to. I had to just do this one last one. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not gonna talk, you know, mention a brother's name or anything like that, but a brother had um, DM me, right? And he was like, uh, yo, man, I, I, I love your, your your videos, you know. You know, you tell videos about, you know, Atlanta, blah, 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 blah. And I just wanted to know where's some good spots for me to live at in Atlanta so that I can be able to embrace the deep Atlanta culture. And I was like, well, uh, <laughs> I would, you know, if I were you, I would live in the outskirts of Atlanta. And then when I wanted to embrace the culture, you know, get deeply rooted into the, to the culture of Atlanta, go inside the city limits. But personally, I wouldn't per se live in Atlanta. So I said, you know, you can uh, live in like Buckhead. Um, that's Atlanta, but it's still, you know, going more towards towards North Atlanta. Live in Buckhead, um, Dunwoody, Alpharetta, um, Sandy Springs, places like that. And he was like, well, you know, I don't want to stay in the hood. You know, what about the West Side? I'm like, the West Side, it has deep, deep culture. You know what I'm saying? There's a, a couple of HBCUs out there. Um, it's a lot of black owned businesses, a lot of black people, but it's hood. They're gentrifying it, but it's not too gentrified just yet. So, you know, he's like, um, he's 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 like he's DM me saying, yo, I'm excited to be here, you know, because he came down here to pursue his his career. You know, um, I'm not gonna give up, you know, tell you all that business, but you know, he's pursuing a career, right? A specific career, right? So I'm saying to myself, when am I gonna let this dude know the real deal? Because I can see, I can, I can, you know, you words don't have emotions, but I can I can see that he's excited and it's a it's an opportunity for him, and you know. He's gonna try to give it his best and all of that, right? So, boom, I let the can, the, the beans out the can. I'm like, yo, I don't know if you experienced this yet or not, but Atlanta is full of fake people. You, you're, dealing, you're gonna deal with racism. You're gonna deal with classism. You're gonna deal with people that are clicked up such as fraternities and sororities and if you're not a part of their inner circle then you do not get in it's just that plain and simple and he was like yo i'm from new york you know cutthroat city you know and blah 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 and i'm like i i see where you're coming from i used to live in new york by the way and i lived in atlanta and i can tell you that there are two different cultures, one in New York and one in Atlanta. And what makes them different is this. For an example, there are a lot of killings in New York, but people don't shoot and kill for nothing. Most people don't. Most of the time, when you hear about New York and people getting shot and killed, it's over two things, drugs and money. That's it. In New York City, it is illegal for you to have a gun. If you get caught with a gun, you are going to jail. Little Wayne got caught with a gun and he served eight months in Rikers Island. So what makes you when you get a, get caught with a gun and you're a regular civilian, how many how many months and years you think you're gonna get? Little Wayne was a, a megastar at that time, and they sent him to Rikers Island for eight months, right? 
in Atlanta and in Metro Atlanta. I'm not lying to you. Someone gets shot every day. And there have been times where I have looked on the news and said to myself, why in the hell did they have to kill him? Why? Why couldn't they just broke into this guy's house, took his belongings and left? No, they had to break into the house with a monitor on, an ankle monitor. Oh, guys on probation. That's my word, I'm not lying. Guys on probation, this is a true story. I'm not making this up. Guys on probation, breaks into the house, takes all the belongings. In this particular case, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't shoot any, anybody. He just got locked up for the same crime. Being, be, breaking and entering. B and E. Another case scenario, guy breaks into the house, shoots and kills the dude. Just killings for no reason. You you ask these people. I, I, I've talked to the TV several times. Yo, man, wh wh why, why? The news is like, I'm telling you, like the news comes on, I think at 12 o'clock it comes on for a whole hour, if I'm not mistaken, right? Let me tell you something. For about 15 minutes is, you know, the regular news, you know, yeah, uh, the coronavirus, blah, 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 blah. 45 minutes of the other news is somebody got shot, somebody got shot, somebody got shot in Decatur, somebody got shot in College Park, somebody got shot in East Point, somebody got shot in Marietta, somebody got shot, somebody got shot, somebody got robbed, somebody got stabbed, somebody got electrocuted. I mean, yo, man, let me tell you something. I'm just telling you, it's two different cultures. And at the end of the day, Atlanta culture is very dangerous because they do things for no reason. No reason at all. And it's an open and carry gun state. That means if you purchase a permit and you have no felonies or anything, you can buy a gun. Well, first of all, you can buy a, a rifle without a permit, but you need a permit in order to buy a gun, uh, excuse me, a handgun, and you can carry that out in the open. I'll never forget, I was behind this, this guy on a motorcycle in Atlanta. And you know, of course, your shirt is gonna come up when you're, you're, you're riding a motorcycle. And what did he have? A nine millimeter. So there's guns everywhere, legal and illegal. You turn down the wrong street in Atlanta, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. I don't know why people think that Atlanta is soft. It's not. It's not. It is a rough city. It's a rough place to live. And everybody's migrating down there. Like it's Smurfland, like it's really Wakanda. Like as if the where you live at. It sucks, but Atlanta, once I get to Atlanta, man, man, I'm going down there for my singing career. I'm going to bump into such and such, and then they're going to put me on. Man, I'm going to go down there, man. My rapper career, I'm going to bump into such and such, and they're going to put me on. Man, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go down there, and I'm going to meet Tyler Perry, because I'm, I want to be an actor, and I'm going to be at Tyler Studios, and, and you probably dream about that shit every night. And I'm telling you, you go down there with that, that, that frame of mind, Without a plan, you gonna be done. You gonna be packing your bags next month. Cause let me tell you something, there's nothing for you for, for you or me to see one of the amigos in Linux Mall. But you think they're gonna help you? It's nothing for you to see a celebrity in Linux Mall or, 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 or in downtown Atlanta. Or, come on, it's nothing. It's nothing. But are they gonna help you, is the question. And if they do, I'm just saying celebrities or people that are known, you know what I'm saying, around the industry, if they if they do, you gotta ask yourself, what are their motives? Cause you're nobody, you're, you're, what are you, they're doing something for you, so what are their motives? And that's the problem with people. Stop going down there thinking that something something's instantly gonna happen to you. No, what you do is, this is plain and simple. It's nothing complicated. You can stay home for this. You can, you can still, you can live in Cleveland if that's where, you, where you're from. You can live in New York if that's, if that's where you're from. You can live in Canada if, if that's where you're from. You can live in Los Angeles if that's where you're from. All you need is a computer and internet service. That's it. If you're an artist or an actor, a singer or entertainer overall, all you need is that. Build your fan base online. 
Doing things the old traditional way is just that old. So Atlanta is not gonna give you anything that you can't get online. You'll have, you'll be, let me tell you something. You'll have a better chance trying to build a fan base online than you will if you take your, your tail down to Atlanta with this notion or thought that you're gonna pr pursue your dreams and, and and your dreams are gonna automatically come true because you 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 go down there with that mentality, Atlanta is gonna eat you up. Word of advice: go down there for a week, drive around, get used to the city, get the feel of it, and then see at the end of the day, at the end of the week, excuse me, how you like it. If you like it. I would tell you, save about at least six thousand, six to ten thousand dollars. Don't go down there with five hundred dollars in your pocket and your cars broke down and you living with somebody. Now it's not it's fine to live with someone, but at the end of the day, make sure that if you're living with that person that you have about five or six thousand dollars or a couple of thousand dollars, just in case that N-I-G-G-A starts tripping. Period. Because you know friends will turn on you. I hope you know that. I hope you're not that gullible to think that fr a friend won't turn on you. And let me tell you something. Atlanta. Atlanta. There's dudes out there that specifically will set you up. So they'll befriend you and act like they're your friends. Next thing you know, you got a gun pointed to your head. I'm just trying to give you the realness. If you don't want it, you want to throw it up and act as if, which is cognitive dissonance, act as if I didn't tell you the truth, you just totally ignoring it, and you're going to do what you want to do, you grown. Go ahead. Do what you want to do. And let me tell you something. The minute you get down there and don't have a plan, don't have that much money, you living with somebody, you thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to go to this club and I'm going to bump into this person, da 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 <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. The title speaks for itself. You move into you move into Atlanta. Good luck with that. Other than that, my name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video. One.